Hello there World of Takers, I'm Drudels Blitz, and in today's video I'm going to be doing another one of my map positioning segments. So as you read in the title, this video is going to be on Vineyards, which in my opinion is one of the toughest maps to tackle in the game. The reason for that being is there are so many different spots. There's the town, there's the middle area, then there's the buildings you can sit at, the other broken downtown on the other side of the map. There are so many different spots you can go to on Vineyards that it makes it a very tough map to know where to push if you're newer or even an experienced player. I struggle sometimes trying to figure out where to go. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down vineyards. As you can see here, I have my mouse, so I'm going to be showing you a replay in my mouse. But of course, me showing you just one replay isn't going to tell you everything you need to know on where to push, because I'm in a mouse. You're not going to be able to do the same thing in a leopard that I am doing in this vehicle. So after this game is over, I'm going to pull up Strap Sketch, and I'm going to show you guys a bird's eye overview of vineyards. All the positions you could go to in different types of vehicles, tank destroyers, mediums, lights, and hopefully you will learn a thing or two about vineyards and this will increase your win rate or at least on this map. So hopefully if you do like this type of video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as it does help out the channel so much. Um, especially if you're newer to the channel, make sure to watch more map positioning videos, it may help you out. But getting straight into the replay, as you can see, I am playing my mouse, and we are on Vineyards. And I'm going to be pushing my mouse to a spot you wouldn't normally expect a mouse driver to go, and that is right to the middle of the map in the encounter cap position. Now the reason for this is, in my opinion, this is the strongest choke point in the entire game. So if I just pause the replay here, the main reason why is if we look over to the left, you have the mediums that would push across to the broken downtown, and what happens there is you can get shots right into the sides of them as they're contending your teammate, let's say the standard B, he needs help. I can shoot the guys as they're trying to cross, trying to rush into him through the corridors. On the other side of the map, as well, if heavy tanks try pushing through into the town, I can shoot them as they're crossing through that spot, through the one broken corridor, to the other corridor. There's many different spots you can get shots into on this map. Um, that just pushing to this middle spot really helps your team out as well I can shoot right through the middle so it stops people from pushing over the ridge There's just many many benefits in my opinion to pushing through this middle spot that really stops the enemy team from taking advantage of you And especially in a mouse because I do have so many hit points I don't mind if I get hit back a couple times so it really does work well But this spot works pretty much for any hull down vehicle so any Patton M48, M60 121B, you're pulling out your WZ-113, IS-7, IS-4, all of those types of tanks will work in this position, especially ones like the STB-1, Amex 30 b they will dominate a position like this. But you can see, I pretty much have a constant source of firing because there's always somebody that I can shoot at with three different spots of angling. T-22 medium pulls out, and you're going to see this T-22 medium gets a big, bad, unlucky gamble there and gets MRAC for 1,300 hit points. But just holding this position is extremely important to winning a battle. I'm gonna, you know, try and get this confidence. Now I do make a mistake here. I over angled my side. I didn't over angle it. I overextended my take a little bit. That is one thing that I really don't run the mouse that much, so I wasn't expecting my sides to be that large. But as you can see, I've noticed, okay, the Sheridan and the AMX are over on the medium side, and they've just pushed through. I don't want to get shot in the side by those guys, because there's nobody spotting them. So I'm going to push over. Confancer really isn't going to pen me that easily. And I wasn't even sure if he was still on the reload, so I pushed right over, killed the Confancer. The 183 got an unfortunate bounce right on the side of my tank. I think he could have actually penned us right in the hall if he'd aimed for it, but... Now I know that the 183 player probably isn't the best because he has bounced a shell off us. So I'm thinking, okay, I need to push on this 183. Of course, I'm not just going to drive straight over the ridge because that's going to make my lower plate extremely easy to shoot. So I'm going to go around and then I'm going to use this little windmill and it's going to hide my lower plate. Second of all, I'm thinking because I'm on a slant or I'm on a ridge, it means that my upper plate is being extra angled up. So my turret's going to be harder to penetrate, and my upper plate is going to be nearly impossible for that 183 to penetrate. He shot, so I'm not too worried right now. I'm going to get another slam right into his vehicle. So right now I'm thinking we're pretty well off. We've already done 2,700 damage. 183 is going to be taken out, one of my biggest threats. So one guy that can easily pen me is going to be taken out. And this is all just because I knew when to push. Vineyards, as I said, is a very tough map. And... Not only positioning your tanks, and this is something I like to talk about in all of my map positioning videos, is that when you push into a certain position, it doesn't always cause you to win the game. When I had pushed into that holding position, yeah, sure, it works well, but if I had stayed there the entire game, we probably would have lost this match. My mediums would have died, and we wouldn't have pulled this out. 
But because I knew when to push, I pushed at the right time, I was able to clear the 183, distract him, clear the Kampf Panzer. As you can see, there are still people that are distracted by me. I know that I need to clear this Hori because he is the next biggest threat. He's the only guy that can pen me. He's got the best DPM. Other than that, yeah, a Sheridan, it might be annoying, it might shoot missiles, but I'm not too worried about a Sheridan DPMing me to death while a Hori can easily do that. So this Hori, yeah, I'm not sure about that miss there, but you can see Hori's about to be taken out. We're doing a pretty solid job here. Nice little love tap. Now he's pretty much a standard, or not a standard, an APCR one-shot. So, about to load that APCR, and thank you, Conqueror, for taking out the enemy. And all we have left is the AMX-30B. So, this is a pretty simple game. There wasn't anything spectacular that happens, but we were able to expel 4,348 damage, plus a little bit of ramming. And the reason I wanted to show this specific replay over any other on Vineyards is because, as I said, change always happens in games. And not only... Are you pushing into a position where you think is strong? You have to know when to push out of that position. Because I made the conscious decision, okay, I see the 183, I see the mediums trying to flank, so I need to push on this 183, I need to clear the Hori, I need to clear these guys before those mediums get back and start clearing me, start shooting me in the butt after I can't spot them. So it worked well, I was able to push at the right time, and as you can see, we were able to come out in victory, pull out that mastery badge, and this is just a nice simple match that I was able to win. So hopefully you did learn a little bit on positioning there, um, but now I'm going to pull up StratSketch and show you guys a bird's eye overview of many different positions you can go on this map. As we are now in StratSketch, I'm going to be showing you all the positions you could have ran. Heavy tanks, medium tanks, tank destroyers, and lights. So as you can see, we got the blank map here. I really do like StratSketch, how you get that bird's eye overview. But of course, I push my mouse right into the spot at the base capture. You can push a mouse there, you can push medium tanks, even some tank destroyers like a Badger E3 do a really good job in that position. So that is a unanimous spot. That depends on the CERN vehicle if you're playing. You can go there and pretty much any hull down tank that has really, really good frontal armor, it will beast that position. As well, there is another heavy tank spot over here. You can pretty much push your heavy tanks all over town. They will do fine in any single position as long as you do know how to side scrape. I really don't suggest to push your heavy tanks anywhere on this side of the map. It really doesn't work out well. Maybe if you're in a faster type of heavy, you could push into this bush spot here, but honestly, I definitely would not suggest to do it. I always see people trying to cross here in big, slow heavies, and when somebody sits into this position right here, they just get shots all the way across on you, and it shreds you to pieces. So definitely, whatever you do, do not push your heavy vehicles over to the little broken downtown here. Always push them to the right side of the map. That's what I feel is a much better spot. When looking at the medium vehicles, medium tanks are also very, very tough to play on vineyards. Now you can push medium tanks over to the medium side, which would be to the left. You can push them through. I personally never have found myself once going, since these maps started, uh, going into the broken down town area over in this corner. I just never go to the left side of the map. Because I feel that, again, you can get shot in the side when you're pushing there, people can shoot you in the corridors, shoot you through the alleyways, it just really doesn't work out in my opinion. Now you can go there, and I have seen teams win pushing to that position, but in my opinion, I personally push my medium right to this spot, here or there. Because that gives me shots, I can shoot people across over here, you know, it works very well to shoot mediums that are trying to cross. It gives you very good line of sight, and as well, if you're being pushed on, you can easily get away. If you're stuck over here, if you're stuck over here, um, it's going to be very hard to get away from a medium tank that's chasing you down, or you've got people that are sitting over here that can shoot you once you've gotten out of there. This spot is very easy to change positions. You can rush up here, help out your team if something bad happens. You can rush over to the heavy side. It's very, very easy to do your job. Now, of course, Vineyards is a very, very symmetrical map. A lot of people ask, can you show the other side of the map for red teams? Um, this is pretty much the same for both sides of the map on position, so of course if you're running your heavy tank on one side of the map, of course you can run it right here as well. It works on both sides, so just keep that in mind that any position I'm showing you for my green tanks here can also do for the red tanks on the other side of the map. But getting straight back into it, now we are onto the tank destroyer class. Mediums and lights I sort of classify in the same area. I would pretty much run your light in this area as well. It's very, very effective. It works pretty much all times. And as long as you have your light there, you're going to easily spot people that are pushing through the middle here. You can get shots on them. You can sometimes even back up over to the, the little crate here and shoot people that are trying to cross into this spot here. If you don't spot anybody crossing this area here, same for on this side of the map. If you don't spot anybody 
crossing in this area for about, let's say, 30 to 40 seconds in a light tank, you can easily just aim over to this side of the map, spot the heavy tanks as they're crossing through, get shots in through this alleyway. This alleyway, it is very, very effective when using medium tanks in a very good spotting position, especially with this bush here. If you're in that spot, it really does work well. But as I said, we are now moving on the tank destroyers. Now, just like the medium tanks, I also push my tank destroyers into this position here. It works very well, again, to shoot people across in an area like this. You can get people all around the map on that side. Another very, very prominent tank destroyer bush is all the way in the back here. Uh, pull out the tank destroyer. It's also back there. That works very well. You've got a bush. You can get shots across the map into this area. Um, sometimes you can get them into the corridors, into the alleyways, so that works very well for tank destroyers. And the last good spots, I would say, are somewhere along the back areas of the heavy spots. So tank destroyers are very, very hard to run on this map because it's so hilly, but I definitely would not suggest to run them anywhere like back here. This really doesn't work well. So there's really not a lot of spots for tank destroyers. Of course, again, if you are in an E3, Badger, E4 type tank, you can push it right up next to your heavy tank there. That works very, very well. And again, you can also run your heavy tank on this side. It works very, very well on pretty much any spot you do push a heavy tank and tank destroyers. But overall, it's pretty easy to run tanks as long as you do know simple bushes, simple spots to be able to shoot enemy tanks. Vineyards is a very, is a very predictable map once you see where the enemy team is going. So hopefully you guys did learn a thing or two about vineyards. I hope you did like this video. As always, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as it does help out the channel so much. Of course, if you thought this video was rubbish, you didn't like it, hit that down below button. Let me know why you didn't like it. If you liked it, well, you know what to do. But other than that, guys, I hope you're all doing well up there. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.